I was able to eradicate Lyme's disease from my dog with these two off-the-shelf medications. Hey YouTube, this is Lucetus Lux coming to you with a different kind of a video today. I uh, had something I wanted to talk about regarding uh, pets. It's, uh, I've been living in my tiny house with my dog for about two years now, about a little bit over two years. And here's my dog Charlie. Come here Charlie. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's a golden retriever. I love him. He's my baby. Let me first say that the information I'm about ready to share with you is something I have found to be true. I am not a doctor, I'm not a veterinarian, this is for your information only, this is something that I had to dig a lot to really find out what would work, and I found something that works. So this is just my experience, I'm not trying to give any medical advice at all. So the two medications that I found you can buy over the counter, they're not even that much of a, I guess you can, wouldn't even consider them that much of a medication, I bought them from a pharmacy. But the first one is this one here. You can buy it online. I bought mine for about $10. It comes with about little 80 little pellet sized pills. I gave it to my dog in two different doses. Now, when he got Lyme's disease in North Carolina, we have a lot of ticks, especially the really tiny seed ticks. He had several bullseyes on him and I did take him to the vet and he tested positive for Lyme's. This was within the first week, so I acted very quickly. I then did a bunch of research and it took me about a week to really kind of discover some of this stuff because Lyme's disease is not really that curable. I had a girlfriend, she said Lyme's disease, joint pain, swelling, it's not that great. They treat it with antibiotics and some of the success rate isn't as well as people would have liked. After giving him Ludium, I noticed a huge change. Not only was he more energetic because he got really lethargic, he was walking like he was walking on glass, he had a lot of joint pain, he just looked very depressed. As soon as I gave him this uh, treatment of Ludium, he pretty much had a complete change. He was energetic again. I mean, he was only two years old, so he was still a puppy. So he was chasing balls. I took him back to the vet a week later and tested negative for limes. So the thing about limes is once you have it, it's detectable for a period of time and then it goes dormant so you can't really detect it. After that initial week, I tested him again after about a month and then again about eight months and all the rest of the tests also negative. So the initial positive from the vet and then after Ludium negative three additional times. So definitely worked, uh, never had a problem again. However, recently, um, got a tick again, and I've been giving him a lot of different medications to keep ticks off from him, but there's still some that just end up biting anyway. But this one had a little, little ring rash around it, so it looked very similar to Lyme's, and he then started exhibiting the same behavior, where he was limping, lethargic, high fever, not eating, etc. So I bought this stuff again, and as soon as I gave it to him, he, because I was treating him yesterday, just complete switch of behavior. So I'll be taking him to the vet later this week um, to get him tested yet again. So ticks are bad. It's just really hard to keep them off your dog sometimes. But there's another medication here. So if your dog has had Lyme's disease for a significant period of time, or it's been in the system for a while, you will have to follow up with a following medication from what I've found. The second one here is Aurorium Metallicum. I bought both these online for about $10 a piece. I think I paid around 50 with shipping because I rushed it. This is something you'd want to give your, your dog. It also comes in pellet form. It's about 80 pellets in there. You want to give it to them. Now watch the dosages. Uh, you got to watch how much you give them. But this is something you want to give to them if it's been entrenched in their system for a while. So I'm following up with this. Now obviously this is not a controlled substance. This is not something I got from the vet. This is something I'm doing on my own. I did a lot of research and found this works. So if you want to try this, it worked for me. My dog had limes. He exhibited all the signs the vet had certified that he did with a test. And then after giving him these treatments, I gave him nothing else. He went back and tested negative three times. So this worked for me. You might want to consider buying this. If you do some research on Ludium, uh, there's a lot of people that will talk about it and it has worked indeed for their dog also. So it's not just me. I just want to put the word out there. I don't see a lot of people talking about this, but this was very inexpensive and my dog was cured. So I'm not sure how this works with people, but I always have some of this stuff on hand uh, because of what it's done for me. So. 
Hope that helps you guys. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good day.